okay what's up guys today we're gonna have a little bit of a different video i don't know i'm bored at home so i decided to, and i like pcs so i decided to make a video about something so nowadays we're all stuck inside in quarantine so maybe you want to you know game a little bit or edit some videos so i'm gonna try to help you either help you to see if a custom pre-built PC is better than ordering all I want to see if a pre-built PC is better than a let's say uh, a PC that you can source parts either online or locally and build it yourself so yeah and for this one I'm just gonna go with a build that's like super basic no RGB no lighting nothing just based off performance and cost so yeah let's get started so like for basic like gaming PC or like a editing PC, video editing PC, you want like good cores, like six six to eight cores, you know, for editing, video editing, and also have a good GPU for gaming, at least 60 frames at 1080p, preferably like not max, but high settings. So yeah. So we're gonna start with the NZXT build, which is a pre-built PC. That you could get really quick build it they build it for you and ship to your house which is pretty dope but we're gonna see that and then compare it to a pc like from pc part picker where we build it ourselves and we source the parts and after that we're also going to source the parts locally from craigslist and from offer up very nice so typically right now the games that are popping off are Modern Warfare, well, Warzone, Fortnite, and what else? I would say Counter Strike because I play that a lot. But this doesn't really require that much power. But let's just choose it anyway. RTX Blue. Usually people play at 1080p. 1080p. But let's say you have a high better system, 1440. Or let's actually make it the bare minimum which you need for everything. Okay. Four nice years go in my warfare. Okay, let's say we want it around thousand dollars. When it's the lowest price possible. Okay. Pretty basic stuff. You get N60 cases, which is pretty nice. I mean if you want Intel or AMD. The AMD choice will be cheaper. And you get basically the same stuff. You just get more gigahertz. What else is there for the motherboard? But with Intel CPUs, it's often you see that the FPS is higher because they're more like sorted through gaming, but the newer AMDs are also pretty good. In my PC, I'm running a 2600X, I think, overclocked to 4 gigahertz on 6 cores. So not that bad. Thingy with this is though, look at that. Oof. That's not good storage. If I do say so myself, but I mean, you get a good graphics card, 1060 60 Ti, but we're trying to go with the cheapest option. Okay, let's see. Configure this. We are at $1,028, and you get like around 180 FPS, 103, 98. I mean, it's pretty good FPS considering the fact. Okay, so we got the N60. Let's try to make this the cheapest as possible. It's liquid cooling, I think, in this one. What is this? RGB, no. Oop. Oof, I went too far. Uh, we'll go back. Go back to configure. Okay. Okay, then cooling. What's in this one? Deep cool. You can't even get... Wow. You can't even get uh, liquid cooling for under $1,000. Oof. Okay, motherboard. Okay, so everything is just the lowest price possible. Interesting. I'm pretty sure you can find a 1080 Ti if you source it locally for like 300, 350 bucks. But I mean, this is pre-built CPU, six core. It's not even. Is it the overclocked version? Let's see. Can you even overclock this one? I don't think they will allow you because it would like ruin your warranty. Bronze, bruh, a bronze certified power supply, a bronze power supply. 
Wow. 16 gigs, that's good. 2 by 8 not bad, 3,000 megahertz. This would be better, preferably. Let's see storage. You only get 250 gigabytes of storage. What in the... Let's see if there's HDD storage. You don't even get... They don't even give you... Okay, that's kind of sad. I mean, okay, so if you're looking at this... Wowzers. Wowzers. Okay, so... All of this for thousand and twenty eight dollars and you only get 250 gigabytes of storage i can tell you right now that modern warfare alone right now with the recent update is around 100 gigabytes fortnite is like 60 and counter strike is probably like what 20 30 so you're already running out of space so the nzxt is Okay, let's see the NZXT. Oof, let's make I don't know what this is. See the NZ oof, NZXT pre built PC is what? How much was it? $1,028. Okay. $1,028. Okay, so now we're gonna go to PC Part Picker. Um, we're gonna try to get similar specs similar maybe even better specs for under their price and also maybe keep things on the low so if you're just looking for pure gaming and pure video maybe video editing it'll be fine but i just realized it doesn't even include wi-fi cap compatible a wi-fi compatible uh motherboard so you're gonna have to buy also a whatchamacallit network card wowza so this cpu it's a six core 3.4 gigahertz and that one's 120 bucks i'm gonna go auction i'm gonna go start with the um the gpu uh video card right i'm gonna start off with the gpu and get a good base so you know you boost your performance and then we're gonna go with the cpu so we don't get bottlenecked and preferably i mean if you're not overclocking the cooling and all that stuff shouldn't be that much extra so let's go. We have a what's this? 1060 T 1660 Ti. Wow. Okay, they have this one at $250. Okay, we want a minimum 1060 Ti, alright? What's the cheapest one? How do you how do you source prices? Okay. $243 here for EVGA. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can get a better one. See if they have any 1080 Ti's. No. Let's see 1080 Ti's. Anybody have one in stock? 1080 Ti. 1080 Ti. Nope, there's none in stock. But this is all brand new online, so we're just gonna go with this. 1660. Let's see if we could get a a 2070 maybe. A 2070 or a 2060 Super. For the same price as this NZXT board. Wow, I haven't looked at prices for these boards yet, but wowzers. Okay, let's just stick with the 1060 Ti. 1060 Ti. So this one already, the G4. See this make this bigger. Zoom in for you guys. The G4 GTX 1660 1660 Ti by EVGA is already better already so that's good so we should add that 243 we saved like 30 bucks right there with that 30 bucks oof. we saved the quick 30 doll hairs nice oof 30 doll hairs I'm going to look for more video cards. Maybe there's one that matches that price. But it's a better card. Hmm. What's that price? Let's go 300 bucks. 273. So what? 270, 280. Oh, I could just do this. Hmm. Or at least a 16, 60.
Okay. So yeah. So, the one they have here, the Zotac Gaming one, it's the same exact one that's right here. This one's 280, but it has all the same specs as this one. That's 243. Nice. So, we're just going to leave that one in there. Not that much difference in the boost clock. But, yeah. So, we have that one. So, yeah. Okay. So, now we're just going to start off with the CPU next. They have a AMD Ryzen 6 core, 2600. So there's a six core processor in here. So we're gonna go to the system builder and look for that. Six cores, at least. Let's go to six to eight. Where is this called? Six to eight cores. Nope. Since we saved like 30, 40 bucks, maybe we can get a better, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> It's 3.6 gigahertz minimum. Okay, okay, we're up, we're going up here on the gang. How did they manage to get it a CPU for that cheap? That's the real question. Uh, because these ones are these aren't in stock anymore. So these are they're probably selling old bolt parts. Okay, so that's 120. We could get a Ryzen. Uh, 3600. That's not bad. Okay, let's get a Ryzen 3600. You get six cores, 3.6 gigahertz, and 4.2 boost clock. This one's only at 3.4 gigahertz, so that's already good. Okay, they have a deep cool Gamix GT cooler. Oh, I have that. We have that. Now let's look for a motherboard it's compatible with this one okay so it's an am4 socket they have an msi tomahawk b405 same well it's a little bit more expensive here but they probably buy them in bulk so it's cheaper so they're just based on price with the am4 this should be good enough i mean we want a network Actually, a network card is like 10 bucks, so you don't really need those Wi Fi crap thingies there. So you have 32 gig of RAM compatible. So we'll just add this cheap one. Actually, let's just get the AS Asus Prime because I've never heard of AS Rock in my life. And this one has good reviews. Okay, so we have the six core CPU. We're already at $482. Okay. So we have a better CPU, cheaper graphics card, about the same specs, and a cheaper uh, motherboard. Okay, let's look for a CPU cooler. Hmm. Okay, so there's this price that the Deep Cool Gamma got $29.99. Let's go up the price. She got a basic CPU cooler. So, yeah, I mean. I'm pretty sure the uh, AMD one comes with a stock cooler. So this one, we're just gonna keep it stock. It's sturdy, but you can get a Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim. Be Quiet is nice, but this we're going for. Actually, yeah, it's cool. The Deep Cool one is cool, just because of RGB, but. We want that quiet, stealthy look. So I would go with the, the Be Quiet. Right, yeah, this one all the way to 27 decibel. The Be Quiet can go all the way down to 13. Yeah, I'll go with the Be Quiet one. And they have a good reputation. So we're, so far we are at $500. They're also a phone, but they only have 250 gigabytes storage space wowza but it's an m.2 drive i think oh it's just the ssd interesting can you get an ssd can you get an m.2 on this one on the motherboard um, bci 
Yeah, you could be an M. We could fit an M.2 on this. Okay, let's get a memory first, though. So they have their memory is XPG Gamic, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, we need a lot of megahertz or MHS, whatever that's called. We need a minimum of 16 gigs. Okay, so we need 16 gigs of RAM. So I have selected that already. So we can get a 2 by 8 or just one 16 gig one. No, we're not going for looks, preferably. We're just going for power to be cheaper than this or powerful. But this does one. This one does look nice. But if you want a minimal gaming setup or editing setup, this should be good enough. Light editing, six cores, better than we used to have back in the day. I remember my first graphics, not graphics, CPU was the i7 4790. Not even the K version, so I couldn't overclock. I was sad. Okay, so we have, and this one's at 3000 MHC. 3000. Well, it was DDR4, 100%, right? So, let's see if we can get 3600. How much of that's going to cost? Rip draws, G skill rip draws. Interesting. That's good. Look at that. It's same, but has higher clock speeds or whatever it's called. 7499. Bam. Bam. I also, I'll, I'll post a picture of my PC right here. That's mine. Nice. Okay. So we have the RAM. We have the course processor. We have all this stuff. We just need the storage, the case, the power supply. Optical drive, you don't really need that. Because you can operate. You can install operating system through a USB. Okay. So storage, they have only one SSD. We're at $593. Let's see if we can fit a M.2 and a extra one. Okay. M.2, these don't really matter. Actually, yeah, it does. Which one is it? Not this one. The one that's skinny. That's not skinny. Yeah, that's how I describe stuff, guys. Okay, Samsung Pro Evo. Let's see what the cheapest M.2 is. This is for like just booting up and everything in the beginning. HP, 250 gigs. Oh yeah, this should be fine right here. The Western Digital one. Or can we go more? They're all in a similar like the price range. They should go with this Western Digital because that's a trusted brand. You use the SSD for like you're booting up your um, booting up your software, maybe having like Steam on there and then like but like smaller smaller games or like smaller programs or you can just want to boot up right away quickly. Okay, let's get a case. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Well, they have a way better case. Okay, this build right here is not gonna look nice. But it's gonna be functional and it's gonna save you money. Okay, so we got a wonder. Okay, let's see what kind of motherboard this is. It's a micro ATX. But, I mean, and the graphics card is kind of small. So you could get a smaller case. You can get a maybe a mid tower, right? Yeah, micro ATX mid tower case. That's the cheapest one. $46, fractal design. They're actually good. If you watch Jace to Sense, he uses these often. Well, not this case, the brand. Hmm. You want good airflow too, because like, this case may look sick, but there's not, there might not be good airflow. Actually, that should be good enough, but maybe you want a case with like, I don't know, you want to look a little bit pretty, you pay a couple more dollars, this one should be good. And tech. The SK1 because it has the you could put the PCU PSU power supply right here and then you can hide the wires that go up to the motherboard and everything and it'll be shooting nice and clean and it's pretty open yeah there's space for airflow and you could put fans right here so it only comes with how many fans one fan so we're gonna need Two more fans for, oh, four more. You could fit four. You could only, you only 
can fit four, but you don't necessarily need four. You could get two. So we have two intake and then one, two exhaust up here. I think one. Two intake, one exhaust, and one exhaust in the back should be fine. So yeah, let's choose a case. We'll get this one. It's nice and black. Should be should be hiding, you know, perfectly. All right. So we have the Western Digital. We have 250 gigs of uh, solid state drive for W2. Now we can get a HD drive, preferably 7200 7, RPMs, which is like very nice. We get the Seagate Barracuda right here, one terabyte. Should be good for now, and then you can save money and expand later. Actually, for two, 10 extra dollars, you can get two terabytes of Seagate Barracuda compute, which is good. And look at the cache. Nice amount of cache. SATA 6 gigabytes. Let's add that. All right. So now power supply. We're going to get a power supply that you can... How much is our power supply? Some Seasonic crap that nobody has heard of. Uh, I'm playing. I'm probably going to some maybe use this in the future or something. But it's 70 bucks. It's 70 bucks. Okay. 70 dull hairs. We're already below. We have 756. And there's 1,028. Okay. So 70 bucks. And it's a 62 watt bronze. It's not even gold or platinum. So we want it to be gold or platinum. At least six, 650 watts is good. Because if you want to upgrade in the future, like your GPU, you can do that. So, where's the wattage? Let's go around 650. Oof. 650. Yeah, like 1,000. Okay, let's see. The price low to high. They had theirs for 70 bucks. For six more dollars, you get this EVA GA Supernova. And it's fully modular, which is nice. Okay, they have it for $76 a new egg. So we'll add this. And you get modular cables. They're sleek and black. We're not making this pretty PC, but it should work. So let's add this one. All right. Okay, this says potential issues. Or let's see what this is. Oh, I don't know what the hell this means. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. We got the AMD 3600. What's the chipset? So it's an AM4 socket with a core, Matisse core. Okay. So we made a mistake, actually. My motherboard is... The wrong chipset. Let's delete that. We should go back and we should go find another one. We'll add another motherboard. It's a micro ATX AM4 socket. Okay, that was my bad. Okay, let's just get a better one because we have money to save. Maybe we can get one with a uh, with a whatchamacallit. Okay, what is the. Okay. Wow. AMD is confusing. Matisse. Alright. Maybe we can get one with. Um. Uh, Okay, we want DDR4, yes. No, we don't care about that. A wireless network, that'd be dope. Hmm. 88 bucks. Not bad. How much gig right? So, okay, this is pretty, this is not bad. This should fit. I mean, it's not the prettiest. But it has everything we need. So and the two slots, SATA slots, and where's the pictures? You won't need to buy a network card because you can fit it right there. 
Nice. Is it micro ATX? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and add that. What does that mean? Okay, so we're having problems with the motherboard. Of course, of course. Okay. Okay. So we're going to need a different motherboard. And we could get rid of the CPU cooler. Save a little bit of money there. Because this one comes with a cooler. And then we could buy a better motherboard. Okay, there's a few compatible motherboards for this card. Okay, here we go. Finally. So we have the MSI uh, load high. You know, we got to save some money. Okay. We want to have it to have a network card. Ooh, it's all the way down here. Boom, boom. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This one's 85 bucks. Not bad. Supports the memory. Get an upgrade your memory later on. So I think this is just a uh, tripping. This is just tripping. Okay, that's just tripping. So we save money there. We got the AMD six core CPU, that, that, 16 gigs of RAM. We could even upload, it could even upgrade that even more. So we have the EVGA power supply, better power supply than the NZX T1. So now let's just choose an operating system. So obviously we're gonna choose Windows home 64 bit just the basic one Let's just add that maybe if you have it at home already you don't really need it okay so we're at 925 dollars oof oof that's close to this one okay and we just need to add We needed like two more case fans, so let's see about cheapest case fans. Was there 120 mils? Okay. Uh, let's add two of these. Where are they? Let's add another one. So we'll have an intake and an exhaust. So. Uh, this stuff doesn't matter. I don't know. Something's messed up here. So what we have together to build a quality PC from either NZXT, where you can build on PC Power Picker and buy stuff from Newegg, we have a nice sleek case by Antec. A micro ATX case, okay. And then same, basically same video card. We have more storage. We have 250 gigabytes of M.2 solid state drive and uh, two terabytes of extra extra storage. And uh, this one's only, you only get 250 gigabytes, okay. We have G Skill Rip Draws RAM, 16 gigabytes with 360 megahertz. This one's only 3000, so that's better. We have a better, I would say we have a better and newer CPU. We also have Microsoft Home and we have a better power supply. So, yeah, the only down and the total comes to $941 after if you do mail rebates. Okay. So, PC part picker build comes out to $941. So, you save around $80 if you do it yourself. This is, I mean, this isn't a bad PC. It's pretty good. It should last you a couple generations. And then you could just upgrade your GPU. Doesn't it look as good as this one? I'm shaking my hands. You can't see. But, and you get two years of warranty. You also get warranty on these pods separately separately yeah you get software both that you get, this one comes with wi-fi 
this one does not. So yeah, this should be good with uh, live video editing, probably gaming as well. This one's also good. This one looks, I'm not going to lie, the N60 looks clean, but you also get basic ass parts and for a thousand dollars. For this one, you also get basic parts, but you save a hundred bucks. And then you can use a hundred bucks for peripherals or something. So yeah, there's going to be a part two. I'm going to be comparing these two builds to uh, like a locally sourced parts. Maybe I can build a nice PC there. Okay, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. This is a different type of content. This is probably a super long video. Bye. I